Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. But the love for God, the love for the family, for the work, for acting, for films, for TV, for stage work. I'm passionate about what I do. Right. Are we quiet again? We're totally no. <laughs> no, but it's true, you know. Are we quiet? Yes. No, you're yeah. right about that. I totally that. agree with that. Right? That and and it's, it's you know, I like, you see, I'm not interested. Um, it may be going to the studio much to see great masters, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like Ellen Burstyn or Harvey Keitel. Or we're talking about, you know, guys who are really established in the business. Mm -hmm. Alec Baldwin's a pretty good moderator. Yeah. He's pretty damn smart, that guy. He really got the act together. But it's, it's about the process. Because mm -hmm. everybody's so obsessed with results. Right. We have to be. You know, it's, it's because, you know, Dean Loring, he might be thinking in the control room, well, see, TV is about results. You have to look good. People, mm -hmm. don't, they don't want to hear about the process. But I think the process is what makes you who you are. You know, it's no, it's no need to hide the process. It's no need to be flawless in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a sense of freedom when, you, when you're trying to get, just get rid of that. Right. Well, right now, for instance, I'm doing a, a character, Ringo, in the Dragons, right, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, uh, directed by me and, and written by me and uh, um, uh, Aniva Yehas. Mm -hmm. Okay, that character, I had to fashion it a certain way. Right. Now, I'm doing a, a, a film called Ante by uh, Emilio Rosa, and I'm doing Suave. Mm -hmm. So it's like I have to detach myself from, like, uh, from Ringo, and become suave, and it becomes two different people. Right. If you look at both of them, you're like, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, you, ha it, it, you have to be like a schizophrenic or something, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. to be an actor, because, you know, you have to, like, leave that one there and jump over here and jump over there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... It's not as scary with the times that we're living, with the economy being so mm -hmm. bad. I mean, I think about it, we have to be out of our minds, guys. I mean, it's, it, hopefully it's going to get better. Well, you know, it doesn't matter to me because uh, we start we we did theater on in a in a in a station wagon, you know, uh, the family. We've always done theater with fifty cents, a dollar, whatever. Fortunately for us, uh, we have people like uh, Al Pacino who always took care of the family, and uh, Robert De Niro took care of the family, always looked out for us, you know, with contributions and stuff like that. Then when Joe Papp was around, he used to look out for us too. Incredible, you I know? love the public. Just yeah, the public, the public, yeah. To me, the public is just, you know, that's your name right there, Juan Samsu Alam. Alam, where's that coming from? That comes from uh, India, Calcutta, India. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you throw me out because I said, wait a second, Juan Samsu Alam. But you're, you're a Spanish descendant, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so well, 50% because my father's from Calcutta, India, and my mother's from uh, Latin descent. Okay, that, you didn't tell me that. Now, do you speak... Uh, Yo hablo español, yo hablo... Hablo español, pero claro hindú? Uh -huh. No, yo, yo hablo árabe, árabe, un poquito. Oh, wow. Un poquito. Y eso es cuando yo estoy rezando. Rezas. He's praying in a different language. That's oh, what I mean. Allah, Irak, We got his name still on the screen. I like that. Juan Samsu Alam. The CG, we can let that CG go, guys. I'm not directing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not directing. I'm just saying that I just keep seeing the name. Thank you so much. You see, it's about taking notes. You got to adjust. And you don't, you don't have to be afraid to make a mistake. So I didn't know that your, your, that your father was from, from India. Yeah, from Calcutta, India. Wow, incredible. Mm -hmm. Anna, you've been too quiet tonight. Yeah, You're she's very quiet. quiet. What You're is wrong quiet. with you? No, What's going I'm on? just listening. Why are you listening? You hear, heard this a million times. I know, I know. <laughs> I forget that I have a mic because I'm, I'm always just, having a um, wireless I'm just mic. excited to be here. Yes. What do you think? Thanks you for inviting so us. <coughs> this is great. It's cool, right? Yeah. Good. It's kind of like it's a half hour show and it goes really quick and Anna Reynoso is right there again. There you go. You see, you guys <laughs> got to be quick. Okay, um, it, it, when we do this once a week, it's, it's very interesting because people that come, like every week I have a different team mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. just rotate and we just work that way and you cannot do it alone. You just can't. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Dean Loring is in the control room tonight and uh, Minor. She's in sound, and we have Rebecca, and we have uh, somebody who's helping us out, and I don't know his name on camera. Kevin. Kevin. Okay, I'm not good with names, but I'm getting better. Okay? Um, it, it's, it's, it's teamwork. That's what it is. Okay? I mean, you cannot do it alone. You just can't. And every week, every show, it's a different story. And you got obstacles that you got to overcome. It's true. 
and you have to make it happen. And you can't sit this way, so it's about posing. So now Charles told me, Sissy, you can't, you can't do that. You can't, you, can't, you can't do this, right? Check the time. You can't answer the phone. That's right. But, you know, it's like you're adjusting and you're growing. And, and so. it's not about me. Boot camp. I so, like the shirt. I, lo I love it. Yeah, it's good. What's in your mind? We have, what, five minutes to go? Five minutes to go. Five minutes to go, Dean Thank you. We're going to kill time. We gotta kill time. Let's talk about the sponsors. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. This is a, this is an exquisite coffee, Domicos. Okay, this is great. It's a little too cold. Mm -hmm. Charles, can we heat this up? Can we make it happen now? It was, it was hot when it was made. Today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good, but it's just cold. But I love the flavor. It's not too strong. The coffee is good. It's good. It's, it's delicious. Really good. It's really, delicious. Really. Exquisite. I don't plug coffees, but yeah, this is a good one. And Madonia's uh, Bakery, uh, Brothers Bakery. Delicious, and, and delicious. And the vitamins, the vitamins, your health vitamins. I forgot to bring them up, but I, I, I'm here now. I'm here. We got five minutes to kill. Any thoughts? Well, tell about I what you're I haven't even covered the movie. We yeah. Movie. Show a clip and yeah. it didn't come out. It didn't come out? It didn't come out. I, I don't know if it's going to be too late. Five minutes to go. Can we talk about the film? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, well, first of all, I've been working with a family and since 204. And that's how I met um, Mr. Alam. <laughs> I went to um, I went for an audition, and they called me, uh -huh. and um, we did a play called La Pare. La Pare, I remember yeah. that. My remember, character was yeah. Um, I play as um, Cio Gomez. Uh huh. And then after that, I guess the director liked my work. And he gave me a call for uh -huh. Once Upon a Time in El Barrio. Uh-huh. I see your line. I look yeah, it was name. supposed to be.